Last four that we are doing for the season, all 32 teams. The Arizona Cardinals, 3-13 and 13 last year. Steve Wilkes was a disaster hire, and it was a one-and-done situation. They, uh, they got rid of him. To win the division this year, the odds are plus 2,500, which means not going to happen. If it did happen, holy mackalamus, could you imagine? It's not going to happen. Could you imagine the people that would be signing, like drafting guys like Kyler Murray out of college? They would be signing guys like Cliff Kingsbury. Like I, I could see Graham Harrell, USC's offensive coordinator, getting a head coaching job next year. Yeah. I mean, it would be insane. Mike Leach would become the highest paid coach in, in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, strength of schedule is number 12 in the league. Their turnover margin was number 29 last year, minus 12. Their over-under is 5 this year. The juice is the same on both sides, minus 110 on each. Cliff Kingsbury is the head coach, comes in after being fired from Texas Tech, which is still one of the weirdest things that I have ever seen in my life. Total yards per play, they were number 32 in the NFL last year, dead last, averaged 4.3 yards per play. They could not come up with any kind of scheme to help out Josh Rosen whatsoever. They bring in offensive coordinator Tom Clements, who was Green Bay's offensive coordinator before Mike McCarthy got fired. They had the second most injured offense in 2018. It was the most injured in 2017. Um, they bring in quarterback Kyler Murray. He's a perfect fit for the air raid. Of course, the offense will be predicated on what he does. Sure. Right, Defense, yards per play, number eight last year. Still pretty good. Uh, but, man, when that offense is that bad, it's, it's well, You're on the almost, field every time. There's nothing you could do. No. Uh, they gave up 5.4 yards per play. They bring in Vance Joseph, former Denver head coach, and he was an awesome defensive, defensive coordinator. coordinator. No, yeah. Um, so he should be pretty good. They brought in outside linebacker Terrell Suggs, middle linebacker, uh, let's see, Jordan Hicks. Uh, cornerback Patrick Peterson, however, is suspended for the first six games, and that is going to hurt because he was his position on the field was targeted less than ten percent of the time last year. Yeah, that, he's, that he's shortened been, the field. Yeah, completely. He's, he's been the shutdown cover corner for the NFL for the last couple of years. I mean, he's he, he's the prem of the crop. Yeah, um, they are not projected to be favored in a single game this year, and yet their over under is at five. Uh, this looks a lot, when you just look on paper and everything else, a lot like when the 2013 Eagles brought in Chip Kelly. They brought in uh, an influx of talent. They they have really, and, and they should not be as injured this year as they were last year. They've got Larry Fitzgerald, who of course is on up there in age, but he is the legend around there. Christian Kirk should be a little bit better. Um, I mean, they just... Through, through the week 12 bye, they face nine teams that are projected to be bottom 10 pass defenses. So there is a chance here That's right. that they could just outscore teams. Um, in their division, with the Rams, the 49ers, and the Seahawks, those three teams saw a combined 43 plays that came out of four wide receiver sets last year. That's almost all that Cliff Kingsbury runs. I was just he about to he say, ran nearly that's 80%. all they're gonna see now. Yeah, he ran nearly eighty percent of that at Texas Tech. That is what they will do with Kyler Murray. Um, look, I I think that they will be improved from that three and thirteen. That offensive line still has problems. Uh, even if they aren't injured, that's still a problem, right? But the this, defense is going to be better because they're not going to be on the field as much, right? We know that that's well, going to happen. Do we? I mean, because yeah, remember, the offense this is, is going to uh, be. Uh, this up tempo offense, right? The, the so, offense is going to be, yeah, but last year. I think year, the offense will be better. The last year, the offense was so bad, it didn't matter how slow it was. Yeah. The defense is just constantly on the field. I think they will score more points. I mean, you just I, get a couple of first downs just because you go fast doesn't mean anything. That's true. I've, I've got them at 4-12. and 12. Um, We're close. And I, and I think that that's pretty good. I've got them 5-11, and 11, and, and yeah, I, I just think we're, we're, we're right there in the same realm. Yeah, I mean, and I think that would be a pretty successful first. They're year. gonna improve. They're gonna go forward. You want to see that defense continue to, to to be okay and to, I guess, improve. And then you want to see drastic changes in the offense. Yeah, yeah. You and and I believe that you will. I believe you will. Next up.